morning. Looking forward to another week. And I am super excited to be moving forward with you for week number nine. Better bring up my slides. Hope that we are all here today as we get going into virtual conversation skills. There we go. Cheryl in, got to go to, there's Tiff. I will get our focus here going. Happy Monday, everyone. Good to see you. Hope that you're doing well. I'm going to bring you in, Tiff. I've got about 5%. So awesome. And there's Jocelyn. Good. Well, I hope everyone had a good weekend. For some of you, it was a holiday weekend. For us, it was a shopping weekend. So all good. What are you coming to today's call with, Cheryl? You've got your bright pink on. What's your what's your today? Well, I spent the weekend decorating, so I feel very festive. Maybe that's where this bright top came from. So <laughs> there you go, festive. Yes. Well, you had the snow to snow to make it festive looking as well. So right. Welcome back. How about you, Jocelyn? What are you coming to today's Monday call with? Oh, my goodness. I have a very busy week, so definitely need to fo get very focused. <laughs> so, yes, it is that time of month. And again, we're moving into our last part of this sprint, Wednesday. Now, Wednesday is also the hybrid work style quiz day. So, Cheryl, I hope you have that down on your calendar. 12 I noon. do. Easy yes. To swear. <laughs> Marty, what are you coming to the call with? I know you're just logging in. Good morning to you, Marty. Did you have a good weekend? Maybe Marty doesn't have our voice yet. Marty, can you hear us? There we go. There we go. Hey, Marty, what are you coming Hello. to? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. What are you coming to today's call with? Oh, uh, um, well, oh, what I'm coming to today's call with, is I have another lesson to finish up in my program that I needed, was supposed to be done this morning. It isn't done yet. So I'm going <laughs> to work on that. <laughs> Sounds like the world of Jen Britton. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Always, always there, always just at the last minute. So Miss Tiff, how are you? Did you enjoy your holiday weekend, Tiff? Oh, I'm, I'm, Thank you. I'm, yep. Good. Yep, I did. Thank Anything you. you want to articulate, Tiff, as you start step into the new week? Um, articulate is a good word, but it's good just to keep it's good just to keep moving forward. And that's what I love about being here every weekday. It's like, awesome. So just feeling good, thanks. It's another day. It's another week. And uh, it is week nine. Can you believe that? It's week mm -hmm. nine. So today is officially day 50 of the sprint. But we're diving into day 57 of the guide. This week's conversation, this week's focus is actually additional conversations to have. So we're going to talk about conversations, which is really many of your bread and butter. Today, we're going to look at virtual conversation skills, and that's day 57 of the guide. Tomorrow, we're looking at feedback conversations, and I'm going to take us into the Revit, one of my favorite frameworks that I created for clients around providing feedback. That'll be day 58 of the guide. Wednesday, which is officially December 1st, is going to be our month to check in. And that's day 60. I can't believe that another 30 days has passed. Mm -hmm. And then Thursday, we're not going to do a Teams on Thursday. We're going to look at pitfalls. And we're going to go back to some of the things that maybe as you step into that the last month of the year, um, pitfalls, things will do some work mm -hmm. around a big challenge or opportunity that you have on your dashboard. And then finally, circadian rhythm. What time of day are you at your best? And that will take us through to the end of the week. Circadian rhythm, of course, is day 62 in the guide. So today we're going to start with our top three. Last week, I'm going to take full ownership, but I'll give you a little quote. The oxygen of the remote workspace is a great virtual conversation. That is my quote. And that is our focus today, because I think really oxygenation is key to good health. And I'll say Jocelyn is our health, uh, health coach in the mix. I would assume mm -hmm. that Jocelyn is at a pretty astute conversation as a non-health 
coach person, oxygen is critical for success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how, Definitely. Are we, how are we breathing? How are we getting rid of the, mm -hmm. the waste? How are we, you know, like getting rid of that carbon dioxide, as I like to say. So with that, we're going to actually start with our questions, which I thought I had up, you know, this is part of a Monday when you do the slides the night before, but here are our questions. Here they are. They're just hiding over here. So we're going to start with our weekly check-in and here are our questions. We're going to do time prompts. So let's create our plan for the week. I'm going to have to plug in in just a minute, Tiff, but let's see if my clock will, will hold going to give us a minute and 15 seconds for you to identify what your top three professional goals are for this week. And I want you to make sure they're smart and they're smart E and they're written down in a place where you can see them. Last week, I did not do that. And I want to share a personal story because last week, one of my goals for this last quarter, since we started this, was to potentially buy a new property. And sadly, sadly, Thursday night, I lost on the bidding war, but I have a, like, part of my brain is saying part of the reason that happened is because I did not keep my goals front and center for the week. <laughs> Last week was the only week that I did not have it in my trusty notebook. So make it up for what you want. But anyways, someone else is going to enjoy that home. So with that, let's take a minute, 15 seconds. What are your top three professional goals for this week? Week nine. All right, let us move now to your top three goals personally. What are your top three goals for this week? All right. By the end of this week, what do you want to make sure that you do, be, or have?
All right, last question. What will wild success look like? Wild success. All right, that is it for our planning for the week. Would anyone like to share their top item that they're focusing on? Anyone wanna share what their biggest rock is? Cheryl, over to you. Um, so I typically at the beginning of the month do a little bit of a client update or newsletter. So I, that beginning of the month is uh, like Wednesday. So I wanna put together kind of what's been, what's been happening in my world in terms of upgrading my qualifications and promoting the hybrid work quiz and webinar and some of the tilt work I've been doing. And also just, you know, general greetings for the holiday season. Love that, fantastic. Anyone else want to share? Marty, do you want to share what you're working on? Uh, just pretty much what I said, getting this fourth lesson complete and the, getting the fifth, fifth and last module at, mostly done Ooh, fantastic the end of the yeah. program so i'm not at the last minute on that one <laughs> yeah well even if you get it a little bit over the finish line one of my goals this week obviously is the hybrid work style quiz doing the first of what will be hopefully a monthly or a bi-weekly call not sure how frequently i'll be doing it but also um just even moving into month two of this right or month three excuse me month three of this it's been really fun for me to see with everything else, how this, this whole body of work is taking root. And I want to say thank you because all of you have been a really big piece of making what is just a book into a conversation zone, which is our focus for this program and this week for today. So Tiff or Jocelyn, anything you want to mention before we move into virtual conversations? Go ahead, Jocelyn. Oh, I'm just one thing that I'm working on is a is a new executive summary sort of template for a DNA report Ooh. that I'm hoping to have finished by Friday. Love that. Love that. And how about you, Tiff? Anything you want to articulate again? I seem to put the same goals every week, and it is nice to see that there's progress. So that's why I like coming here every Monday going, okay, I've seen some progress. So thank you. Ooh, thank you. And you're making me think we need a, we need a like 12 week tracker sheet. Anyways, that's Ooh. another project. So <laughs> here's, here's our focus today is really about conversations. And Tony Robbins said to effectively communicate, we realize that we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. 
And that really is at the heart of the hybrid work style quiz. So hope you can join us. And what I wanted to remind us of, I think many of you have been part of my standout virtually uh, challenges maybe last year or even some of the body of work. But what came out of that was this notion of the five engagement levers, where I'd like you to think about how are you really working with people in the virtual space to bring their voices in. Like a soundboard, we can really like adjust the dial or move the volume up or down on all of these. You've seen me use them in different ways throughout our last 60 days together. So chat. We haven't done many polls, but just a reminder with bigger groups, there's always polling function using Mentimeter, Poll Anywhere, or Zoom. We've used annotation a few times, and you can activate that in Zoom, or you might use Mural or Miro, which are two apps. Hopefully in Zoom, you've seen how apps now interface over, right? You can actually bring them right into your Zoom app or your Zoom portal, which is really so easy. And then another engagement lever or a way to bring voices into the room, of course, is whiteboard, where with your groups, you might be co-creating, you might be drawing out a roadmap, you might be creating that, um, you know, that, that vision together. And then finally, we've been using a lot of breakouts, as you've seen, I think really they're the magic sauce. This is where people do get to quote of the day, word of the day, articulate, speak it out. And I think speaking it out is a really big part of coaching. Coaching is not being just talked at. It's not just reflective pause, but it is about being able to speak it out and own it and say it. So we're going to do some breakout work today. And I'd like you to think about the virtual conversations you're going to have this week. My guess, you have multiple virtual conversations. And keeping these engagement levers in mind from polls to annotation, whiteboard to breakouts to chat, I'd like you to think about one area that you maybe aren't using as much of. For me, I don't do a lot of polls and I love using polling like Mentimeter, but I think there's an opportunity to bring in a poll for the hybrid work style quiz. So I'm gonna do a poll mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And that'll just be a little different than my usual, let's go to annotation, let's go to breakout, mm -hmm. let's go to whiteboard. Um, because I think together, all five of these create a wonderful balanced mm -hmm. sound. And that's what we want in conversation. So we're gonna go to breakout and we have about two, 10 minutes today to just have a conversation around virtual conversations. That is our focus today. Of course, there's a whole body of work behind this topic, which hopefully you have a copy of EVC, Effective mm -hmm. Virtual Conversations. Mm -hmm. um, all of, you know, all of the great tips you can be using, but most of you are in this space and have been embracing it for a mm -hmm. while. So I hope that you'll enjoy your breakout today. Let me bring it up. We are going to open them right now. Just think about your conversations and what can amplify them. What can actually um, expand your virtual impact this week as you go to have your dialogue? And we've got Marty and Tiff in room one and Cheryl and Jocelyn in room two. Mm -hmm. I think Samina will be back with us tomorrow. She's en route probably from Toronto to Montreal. Mm -hmm. So opening the rooms and I hope that you enjoy the conversation. See you back here in 10 minutes.
All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Who enjoyed that? That was fun. <laughs> awesome. Any insights that people want to share before we go to wrap up and move on with our week? I think Jocelyn had a great one, and that is um, the benefit or the bane of chat. And we talked about the fact oh. that chat can become its own conversation. And we compared it to like if a presenter's doing a presentation, but you're having a side conversation in chat. It's like watching a movie. It's like talking to, while you're watching a movie. You're going to miss stuff. Yeah. So we talked about as a facilitator coach, how to manage chat for the good. Mm -hmm. Well said. Well said. Any insights, Tiff and Marty, that you want to share? Nope. We just had a great conversation. I always love oh. talking to Tiff. <laughs> Yeah, I always appreciate these breakouts. Thank you. It's just it's just really good just to connect with people. I think I I feel sometimes isolated and that's why I love mm -hmm. like you get to see faces and talk to people and that's why the virtual conversation is so awesome. Mm -hmm. you get to connect. Mm -hmm. Keep on connecting. Well, with that, we are going to keep on moving and don't forget for Wednesday we'll do our month to check in. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't have it in the same book, use the next day or two to pull together all of the things that you've been looking at in this last 60 days. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. We're looking hey, at can, back tomorrow. Can you just tell me the thing Wednesday at noon? That's your Wednesday at noon is the hybrid work style quiz, hybrid work style quiz. So anyone who's done the hybrid work style quiz and is intrigued on learning more about yes, what your style me. is and how you can work more effectively with others, be back in this room at 12 noon oh, Eastern. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. This it's this room. Okay. And uh, just so you know, uh, Cyber Cyber Monday sales are on. So mm -hmm. be there, be square until Wednesday night at midnight mm -hmm. or 11.59. All right. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Great Bye. Bye. Bye.